American fast food chains caught using seaweed, soy, and even wood to beef up menu items. Sick. Shola Wong, first and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to the Heavenly Father, the ruler, the almighty ruler of the heavens and earth, Yahweh Bahashom, Yahweh Shai Bahashom, Rachakwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashom, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to do a response video to a video that was done by Dabu777, as you see right here. This video pretty much further proves that our food is defiled and that basically we're not eating real food anymore, okay? And a matter of fact, the last time we ate real food was really back in the, uh, the 1800s, okay? Because, I mean, even in the early 1900s, food was real, you know? The, the uh, manufacturing of GMO foods really did not come about until about the mid 1900s. Okay, that's where big time companies like Monsanto came in. You know, that's when the project and, and the research of, of gene splicing and, and um, creating GMO seeds to grow GMO crops started to come about. You know, the, um, the, the, um, the mixing of seeds and, and various different elements from different animals sea creatures um led to these devils manufacturing genetically modified organisms in the form of food that is edible which has been prescribed and has been approved by the food and drug administration so technically the food that we're eating is drugs and what's the proof of that? Whenever you eat, whenever you eat a certain amount of food, suddenly what happens? You start to feel lethargic. You start to feel lethargic. You start to feel tired. You start to feel worn down. And right before you know it, you find yourself laying down, getting a little bit of sleep in. And that's not normal because when you eat food, you're supposed to feel energized. You're supposed to feel refreshed. You don't feel like that after eating four pieces of fried chicken. After you eat four pieces of fried chicken, you're ready to sit down and, and call it a day, basically. And that's not normal. You know? And the reason why, the reason why your body feels tired and all worn down and the lethargic, ready to just go to sleep or rest after you eat, is because basically your body is telling you that what you're eating is poison okay like meristicin meristicin is a poison that can be found in nutmeg okay anybody who eats enough nutmeg will will start to feel tired you know and then they they might sleep in you know and then they wake and then when they wake up you know they might see different color patterns on the walls you know, they, you know, they might see different colors. They might, um, you know, time might appear slow to them. And, and basically, it, it's, it, it's a horrible feeling. So general, technically, when you eat food, you know, it's like you're eating poison. You start feeling tired. You want to lay down. You feel lethargic and you just want to sleep. And that's not normal. So this is a video right here that was again uploaded by Dabu Seven. I'm gonna go ahead and play this video and continue from there. This is Dabu Seven. We have many different American fast food chains out there getting busted here for claiming that they're using all white meat chicken, and it's far from that. And what they're using, we're talking big time chains out here, like McDonald's. We talked about McDonald's. And let me tell you something. If you're a brother in this truth, really, you should not be eating any kind of meats from McDonald's. Now, now, don't get me wrong. You might buy a milkshake from there. You might buy um one one of those um you know one dollar apple pies, whatever they call them shits. 
you might even buy some brownies or maybe even some ice cream but you you if you're if you're eating at McDonald's you should not be eating any kind of meats that come from there because let me remind you that they put human meat inside of their beef okay all these different people teenagers adults children old people that come up missing that you hear about in the news after they have been sacrificed by the Illuminati okay a blood sacrifice unto their idols which they worship when they don't need the bodies anymore they literally grind the bodies up in a grinder and then they mix them you know I don't know where where they're grinding these bodies up at but 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 these bodies are being grinded up and then they're being mixed into your beef okay they're being mixed into your, your 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 beef patties, you know. Like um the uh, McRibs, you know. Look at the McRibs. They put pig intestines. Well, not not pig intestines. They 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 they, they, they put pig anus in McRibs. So you want to know why every time you bite into a McRib, you know, it's boneless. You know, it, it it's boneless. It's um you know. It's 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 uh it's got you know it, it's tender. It's, it's because it comes from pig anus. The chicken nuggets nowadays are not even real chicken nuggets. Okay, it's not real chicken nuggets. You know, perhaps there's human meat in the chicken nuggets. So there should be no reason why you're buying a cheeseburger. Or McRib or, or 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 any kind of meats from McDonald's. Okay, and, and, and it's proven that they that 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 they, they they mix human meat in the midst of these different foods. Okay. And a matter of fact, there was a video that came out not too long ago. I wonder if I can find it. Where where a guy basically found a, a, a human nipple inside of his uh, roast beef. Okay, let me see if I can find that. Man, man finds human nipple in inside inside. I think I believe it was pot roast. Let's see if I can find a video on that. Goodness gracious, sweet and sour cow vagina. But you see, this, this is this is what we're dealing with. This is what happens when 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 the um when when the wicked is in rulership. Man, they probably took the video down too. Man finds human, human nipple in food. Let's just type this in and see what happens. Yeah, see. In roast. Finds human nipple in roast. Found cancer in my chicken meat. Man, I did a video on it too. I wonder if I can find it. I probably won't be able to because I've deleted the video. Um, let's see, let's type in. Let's, I know one of the brothers on Great Millstone up, uploaded it. GMS. Yeah, so I'm not gonna waste my time trying to find it. You know, see, but you see, that's what Esau does, you know. He'll he'll remove any evidence, you know, uh, um, proving his wickedness and, and and the shit he be doing behind closed doors, you know. But you know that's fine, okay. But yeah, there was a video, you know, uh, um, it was done by Jake, okay. He had bought a he had bought um a pot roast from a store, and when he opened a package, he literally found a human nipple. 
on his pot roast. So guess what? That pot roast could have been made from human meat. Plenty of times. That you shouldn't be eating the stuff. You've seen all the videos where... And that's, that's what we've been telling you, brothers. Especially you younger brothers coming into the truth. Okay? You have no business eating... I mean, you know, meats from McDonald's. Because this, this shit is defiled, man. You know? I mean, this is what you're eating. Stuff that's sitting on a shelf for five years and it doesn't look like it's been there a day. It's crazy. It's been sitting on the shelf for five years. Think about that. What kind of food can you keep on a shelf outside of now I'm not talking about rice so don't get stupid okay there's rice oh, there's rice oh. and look I'm talking about perishable goods like chicken beef lamb okay goat venison green beans strawberries apples oranges perishable goods what kind of perishable goods, such as meat, can you keep on the shelves for five years and it'll still be good? Well, hold on. I, uh, well, but wait a minute. Well, what about the possibility that, that, that they'll keep, keep, keep it in the freezer? You know? You see, it, it, it'll stay frozen for a certain period of time and then you know, they'll they take it off the shelf and they'll freeze it. And look, it's still good, huh? Look, man. Even even if it even if it was frozen, bro. Every restaurant has a policy called FIFO. Look it up. FIFO. F I F O. First in, first out. There's no such thing as, you know, a real restaurant that keeps a particular food for over, you know, five years and and, and, and basically it, it, it still remains good. No. Okay, I've worked at several restaurants before in the past. Okay, no, no restaurant that I know of anything that that that's that's been in the freezer for for almost a, for, for for almost two weeks is thrown out. You know, they'll say scrap it. It's no good. Throw it out, even if it's been in the freezer. Okay, yeah, it's true. The ice have the power to 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 preserve things. But that's not the case with these fast food chains. But anyways. Well, they go through this list talking about all these different companies, even Wendy's, saying that only 56% of the meat is chicken breast. The other 44% is a concoction of all types of other stuff. You see that? I think people should know these. Oh. They should. But the reason why they don't is because there is a scheme. The so-called elites don't want people to know what they are eating. You know? Remember, in the eyes of the so-called elites, these people are no more than cattle. Okay? And, and, and well, well, what is the attitude of these so-called elites concerning cattle? Nah, just feed them what... what Feed them with whatever the hell uh, uh, we, we, we have, you know. The so-called elites, they, they don't care what, what, what they feed the people. They don't care. You know? Because they know that people will literally eat anything. I mean, come on. People people is willing to eat pig intestines on, on Thanksgiving. People is really willing to eat pig anus. In the form of a of a, uh, of, a, uh, of a of a McRib from McDonald's, you know, we got the gooks over there in China and Japan. They literally eat anything. You know, people over here in America they eat lobster, they eat crabs, they 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 they, they um the Edomites like to eat their food uncooked, half half uncooked. Okay, look up steak tartar. Let's continue. Balls Jr. Pretty much the same thing. Subway. Jack in the Box. Whataburger. Burger King. Domino's. Dairy Queen. 
the list goes on and on here. Mm -hmm. And many of these places trying to put out a statement saying that. And we cannot forget about Wendy's. Their chicken strips are 100% white meat with nothing else in there. And it's just a lie. Where they've got all these different additives in there soy protein, they have wood pulp put into some of these chicken sandwiches to give it flavor and to boost protein content and all this other stuff. But it's sickening. You're putting wood. You're putting wood in your food, man. And it's always been a scheme to reduce the world's population because the so-called elites know that the body can only last so long without real food, right? That's why diabetes is at an all-time high here in America. That's why cancer is at an all-time high. That's why people have Alzheimer's. All these various ailments that people have, especially when, when they're up in age. And it's because of what? All of these additives that they put in the food. Yeah, and it's true. There's a such thing as particular foods you eat can put demons on you. You know? You look at a, a you look at a, a beef and cheese hot pocket, right? The only ingredients that's supposed to be in a beef and cheese hot pocket is what? Beef and uh the ingredients that was used to make the um the 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 uh, the, the wrap, the pastry wrap to to to, to um to wrap around the beef and the cheese, you know? So the ingredients that you use to make the, the, the pastry or whatever, right? The, the ingredients could be what? Flour, um, you know, you might have added a little bit of salt, you know, to the beef, you know? And then you got the cheese. So in a hot pocket, right? The ingredients in a hot pocket should be what? Beef, cheese, flour, and salt. Four different ingredients, right? Four different ingredients. So, let's go here, right? Hot pockets ingredients. This, so, when it comes to beef and cheese hot pockets, right? There's supposed to be only four ingredients. Flour, beef, cheese, and salt. But let's see, let's see what they got here. Check this out. This is supposed to be a pepperoni pizza hot pocket, correct? So that means what? The ingredients is supposed to be what? Pepperonis, cheese, flour, and maybe salt, or, 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 or maybe maybe wheat so what we got we got pepperonis right we got cheese we got flour and we got salt four ingredients these are the only ingredients that's supposed to be inside of pepperoni uh, cheese hot pocket or pepperoni pizza hot pocket now let's check out some of the ingredients they put here in the hot pockets let's see Enriched flour, water, reduced fat, mozzarella cheese, pepperoni, right? So right there, oh well, yeah, and tomato paste. You can also add tomato paste in there, right? So this is where the ingredients are supposed to stop at. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six different ingredients, right? So there's supposed to be only six ingredients in here. But let's see what else they put in this, right? Soybean oil, sugar. Why do you need to put sugar in there? It's supposed to be a pepperoni pizza uh, 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 hot pocket, right? What's the point of putting soybean oil or, or sugar in there? Seasoning, you know? Well, salt. Do, do not salt fall under the uh, se seasoning category, okay? So you can also add that in there. Seven, right? Seven different ingredients. Seasoning, tomato paste, pepperoni, uh, reduce, uh, let me see, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, yeah, six different ingredients right there, okay? Six different ingredients. It says fractionated palm oil, yeast, you know, I mean, that's that's obviously self-explanatory, right? There's yeast and flour, so you don't even need to put yeast in there, right? 
salt, salt counts as seasoning, modified food starch. Why would you why would you have modified food starch in hot pockets? Dough conditioner. What's the point of dough conditioner, right? Blend. Dough conditioner blend. Dry garlic. Soy lecithin. What is what is soy lecithin? Sodium steroil. What is sodium steroil? Lactylate. What is lactylate? Meth methy cellulose what is methyl cellulose flavor spices natural butter flavor whey <laughs> maltodextrin what what's the you don't need all this potassium chloride what's potassium chloride citric acid soy flour egg whites But here it is, there's supposed to be only six ingredients in this. But you got all these additives. Okay. Let's see. Hot pockets, pepperoni, pizza, crispy. Look at all these ingredients. This is supposed to be the ingredients for Hot Pockets, Pepperoni, Pizza, Crispy, Crust, Frozen Sandwiches. Look at all these ingredients. You see what I mean? But that proves my point. They're putting all these things in our food because they're trying to kill us. However, what does the scripture say concerning Jacob? There is no enchantment against Jacob. Look at all these ingredients. This is supposed to be pepperoni pizza hot pockets. We got all these ingredients in it. It's all a scheme for world depopulation. Okay, they weaponized the food to basically kill people. Okay, you want to know why can't because you know they'll say well smoking is the leading cause of ca uh, of cancer and no smoking could possibly be the leading cause of lung cancer but smoking is not the leading cause of cancer in the legs gangrene osteoporosis infirmity of the eyes to where you have blurry vision that's why when people get up in age they end up with blurry vision why is that okay look up floaters okay floaters what are floaters floaters are like these tiny particles you see in your eyes basically they, 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 they float around the pupil of your eyes so like um when you look up at the sky you'll see like these um you'll see like these 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 these, these transparent little circular orbs stuff that, that, that they kind of like follow your vision wherever you look especially when you look in when, when you look at bright areas they're called floaters. And you know where floaters come from? The different foods you eat. So so when people get up in age, right? They end up with so many floaters in their eyes that their 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 vision becomes blurry. That's how people become legally blind. You see? And it all comes from these different additives they put in the food. And that's what we what we've been trying to tell you Israelites out there man that's why the apostles of great millstone put out a decree you know we got to watch what the fuck we eat even if it is considered clean food you know because nowadays we don't know what the hell we're eating what's going on here it's not even what you think it is so we're out here arguing against the plant-based stuff and against the fake stuff like the Bill Gates stuff but at the same time Half the stuff out there isn't even what you think it is. But just a heads up here. I'm going to leave a link below. If you guys know of any other places, drop The water Yahawa, the water Yahawa Shai for that information. That's why this, this devil has to be destroyed, man. Excuse me. Let's do this right here. Luke. Chapter 8, verse 17. 
For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. So there's nothing secret that shall not be made manifest, okay? The, the, the wicked works of these devils is being made manifest, okay? You know, because the Lord, he don't have to use his prophets to expose the evil deeds of these devils. The Lord have set up particular men here on the earth to, 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 to basically dig deep to, to, to expose the wickedness of these devils. Okay? Now, in Numbers 23, verse 19, check it. It says, For God, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, is not a man that he shall lie, neither the son of man who is Yahweh Shai that he shall repent. Have he said, and shall he not do it? So, we're seeing prophecy come to pass right here. Okay? Okay, woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in the dark. And they say, Who seeth us? Who knoweth us? Isaiah 29, verse 15. You see? So these devils, they're trying to um, keep, keep all these things a secret, you know? Yeah, they'll tell you what they put in your food and on, on the back of your ingredients, but you know, you know what's interesting? They don't even tell you of all the ingredients they put in your food. They're just giving you 50% of the ingredients on the back of your labels of what they're putting in your food. But I bet they won't tell you that 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 they put rat shit in chocolate. They won't tell you that they put rat hairs in cereal. They won't tell you that they put metals in Similac. The same milk that you're feeding your 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 babies. They won't tell you that they're putting metals in cereal. They won't tell you that 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 they are putting mercury in, in cream of wheat. They won't tell you that 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 they use they use chemicals made from pork in order to dye sugar white, in order to dye rice white. And they, they use they use an ingredient called animal rennet, which is a chemical used to dye the cheese yellow. I'm talking about sandwich cheese. And a lot of the cheese you eat is not even real cheese, it's made from plastic. You see, just like rice. Rice is made from plastic. Okay, you go on YouTube and you type it in, man. Look, they they um food foods right. There's a video on YouTube that goes into um you know what what you're eating. I checked it out on on, on YouTube on my PS4. You know I like to watch particular videos on YouTube on my PS4, and there was a video I saw, and basically it was about um like like um you know this this is what you're eating, and then like he'll go into like the the um. Like, 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 um, he'll, he'll like, um, he'll take like some, some grains of rice, right? He'll put it on a spoon and then he'll take a lighter and he'll literally light up the spoon until, until the rice was, was, um, was, was, when, when, when the rice got exposed to the heat, right? Literally, it would, it would become clear, clear like plastic. Yeah. So these things are actually happening. There was another video where um um he um he he took a lighter to 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 some cheese right and, and, and basically he showed the difference between real cheese that actually melted when you put a flame to it and then he took GMO cheese right and, and when he went to go light it up the cheese the cheese would literally turn black as if as if as if it was plastic that was burning. Okay, the same thing happened with the snow outside. Real snow, when you when you put fire to real snow, it literally melts. Because snow is supposed to be made from water, right? Frozen water. <laughs> but here it is though, you know. You take a flame to snow outside and it'll, it'll literally burn like plastic, like, like you're burning plastic. So, all this dirt is coming out on these devils. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that write grievousness which they have prescribed. Now, when you look up the word decree, the word decree um, means a decision or a law. 
but in this case woe to them that decide unrighteous decisions okay because that, that this is the result of these devils these so-called elites laying their their little red hairy asses down and premeditating upon the wickedness on how to further destroy the people of the earth especially the israelites who, which is their main goal of whom they're really aiming at. Micah 2 and 1 won't to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. Right, when they work evil upon their beds, what are they doing? They're premeditating the, these wicked the, the, these wicked things. For when the morning is light, they practice it. Why? Because it is in the power of their hand. Because they are the ones in rulership. You see that? So 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 they the devise iniquity. When you devise iniquity, you're 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 meditating upon it. These devils meditate on, on iniquity every day. Okay? Genetically modified food is iniquity. Okay? But then these devils will go and they'll literally persecute us to to the father for eating GMO foods. But who's responsible for producing the GMO foods? You you so-called white people are. You're the ones in rulership. You're the ones who own all these, these different factories. And that's really starting with the so-called Jews in the land of Israel. Okay? They own everything. They own these, these different food corporations. Even though they don't like to hear it, but it's, it, it, it's the truth. Okay? Okay? It, it's simply the truth. So these devils, they, they, they devise iniquity. Okay, they, 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 and, and the scriptures say woe unto them, right? The word woe, when you look it up, it goes back to the Hebrew word abadnyo, which means what? Destruction. You know, and that's why the scriptures speak about destroying them, which destroy the earth. Because now, now they have GMO soil, they have GMO seeds, they're not keeping the land Sabbath. So what do you think the Lord is going to do? The Lord is going to visit them for their iniquities. For, for for their 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 sins. That's why the scriptures in the book of um Second Thessalonians, the second chapter, you know, the scriptures call call Esau the man of sin. That's why the whole rule, that's why wickedness is prospering in the world. Because the wicked is in rulership. And the last scripture, chapter Ezekiel chapter four, verse thirteen. And Yahweh said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles. Are we not living amongst the Gentiles right now? Yes, we are. It was prophesied, okay? We are the diaspora, the dispersed. So if we're living in a heathenistic society, that means that um we gotta deal with with with, with the, the BS they put in our food, okay? You know, which, which is really vexing to the spirit because come on, who the hell wants to eat chocolate while, 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 you know, worried about, you know, what they put in it, you know, you should be able to just eat a candy bar without the thought of what if there's rat shit in this, you know, you're eating cocoa puffs, the cereal cocoa puffs, you're supposed to be getting a good source of, 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 of a vitamin A, B, C, iron, but you're getting none of those things. Even the fruits you eat give you very, very, very little benefits. You can eat an apple, you can eat blueberries, blackberries. You're only going to get 2% of the benefits from, 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 from whatever you eat. You got to eat a whole container of blueberries just to balance out your, 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 your alkaline diet. And, and even if you eat a whole container of blueberries, you're probably going to get on, only 3% of, of, of the alkalinity from, from, from those berries. So we got to hurry up and get the hell up out of this kingdom, man, because th this is not living. Micah 2 and 10, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, for it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. Ezekiel chapter 4 verse 13. And the Lord said, even thus shall the children of, children of Israel eat their defiled what does the word defiled mean? When you look at the word defiled, it means corrupted. Corrupted bread among the Gentiles, whether I will drive them. With that, I'm going to say, Shalom is on to the next one.